on their skin and why uh, humans do not why animals have what is that print on their screen uh, skin oh my god this is the most difficult question i have encountered in my life is there someone who can answer this deepak ji can you answer this hello ha uh, sorry i was on mute uh, uh, i i'm not sure but i think the main thing is that animals because they live in jungle and they need to protect themselves from their predators i think they want to camouflage themselves so if yes. animals have prints on their screen they will kind of they will they will be able to camouflage themselves and with the, those prints they will be able to merge into the background so the predators won't be able to see them i think that is that is the possible answer to this question but i'm yes. not sure i have just made a guess yes sir uh, i also think that cause deer has such skin that it can hide the grass yes yes sir thank you uh, okay so shreya is it so i have one question for you shreya do you believe in darwin's theory of evolution hello sir. yes sir no what do you think whether it is that god created man or is it that the man has evolved from the animals sir i have not heard about it no no this charles darwin's theory of evolution Yes, sir. I actually don't know about it. Oh, actually, you don't know. Aryan, what is your thing? Uh, sir, Have you I heard about evolution? Evolution? Yes, sir. Sir, but I personally think that God created a place where He put all the laws, how things would work, and He just left, and uh, they are be progressing. That oh my God! Be, this is a brilliant answer which aryan has given you see <laughs> hey, what do you think amarnath ji about this this answer you see he says that hey, god created the laws and the laws took care of the evolution <laughs> this is very nice i in fact uh -huh. i also believe the same thing okay sir uh, uh last last day i watched the open hive it was a great movie okay so why why it was great uh, sir it showed a scientist life and and political political life also in some way uh, one of the dialogue was i have been that the destroyer of the world uh, mm -hmm. from our from our in uh, vedas and puranas okay right yes yeah right yeah, even darwin's theory right if we can uh, see in our methodology right from vishnu puran somehow it is right but how we evolved right it's also in like our vishnu puran <coughs> puran from like all different uh, like a just analogy it but <coughs> started from matasya kurma vara and then started like narsimha half man half animal vamana then we have that theory of human but in very tiny form right and then parshurama avatar angry person right like he's staying in the jungle and then rama avatar full man that horse with the character and then krishna and buddha and then <coughs> finally that everything with all these qualities is let's say with a gen ai or something right which will which is yet to come so we are also evolving today. right if you see like just an analogy i was reading somewhere the perfect human has yet to come so in fact the one of the most important question which which is 
going round among the scientific circles is that why can't there be life on other planets or in another part of the world? Why only Earth? <laughs> so in that light, what happens is that suppose we say that I, I'm just asking a question actually that all the religions they say that God created. So God, why did He create only on the Earth, or did He create somewhere else also? So these are the questions. Yeah. Yeah. Like why do we have our perfect? Like, yeah. yeah. Like what is the, what is there in the Earth, right? Like, why do we have life? Perfect question, right? That's what we should think, right? Why? Yeah, it is true that the Earth Earth has the right atmosphere, right temperature, right everything. That that coincidence, but that coincidence can occur anywhere in the, such a large universe. See, I, I, as I was telling last uh, last Saturday, hundred years ago, thought that there is only one Milky, and all the stars belong to the Milky Way. So it's in the nineteen twenty that suddenly the universe expanded. I mean, that became very large. Suddenly, people found so many galaxies like Milky Way, and uh, we found that the Earth, the universe could be even 13 billion light years distance, such a big universe. So there is there is ample chance that there will be few planets where the life could come if the evolution is the mechanism. But if God is the mechanism, well, I think God might have chosen only the Earth to have the human beings. <laughs> no, there is one it more is. thing. Life, yes. I mean, see, we are... As we know life, it needs oxygen and water right. and whatever. It is not necessarily always needs oxygen life. and water. Maybe there's a there's a different definition of life somewhere else. Maybe somebody some some organisms need maybe water, but instead of light, they depend on uh, say cosmic rays or need oxygen at all. They need some other kind of electromagnetic so we have defined life. Life, L-I-F-E, is a definition of created on planet Earth, and we always associate life with oxygen and water. That may not also be true. Uh, life may have different forms dependent dependent on different things. And even if it's just water and uh,
Thank you. 